The best cafe in the world! <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just looking for something. Oh, maybe it's in here. Looking for something small? <laughs> you surprised me, Ben. Just trying to help. <laughs> Have you lost something? The buttons come off my trousers and I can't find it anywhere. Oh. Well, we'll need to get a needle and thread and sew it back on. I'll find it. OK. Oh, hang on a minute. If I've lost my button, I won't need a needle and thread, will I? Oh, well, that's good, Small. Why? Because I can't find the needle and thread either. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the ice cream, cream van! Whoopee! <laughs> Quick, Ben, get the money. OK, um... Oh, hang on, Small. I can't find the money. Oh, no. We can't find anything today, can we? Well, we can't be worrying about that now, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in our cafe today, Small? Wow! What a surprise! Who is it? See if you can guess. She's come all the way from Australia. Australia? Wow! And she's as big as you, Ben. And her feet are even bigger than yours. I know. It's Emily Emu. <laughs> oh, no, Ben. But I'll give you another clue. She keeps her babies in her pouch. I've got it. It's Kim the kangaroo. That's it. And she loves hopping. Now, what can we cook for a kangaroo? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. I'd always wanted to visit Australia. It's such a huge country with lots of interesting animals. Koala bears and noisy kookaburra birds. And of course, kangaroos! Hey! I've always wanted to jump like a kangaroo. Boing, boing. <laughs> but when I met Kim the kangaroo, she wasn't jumping, she was slumping. She was totally exhausted. I asked her what the matter was. It's my children, Jenny and Jemima, she said. They keep throwing their toys everywhere. I'm worn out trying to pick them all up. I went to find Jenny and Jemima to ask them for their help. We didn't mean to make a mess, they said. We just wanted to find our favourite toys, Wally and Sid. They're baby kangaroos just like us, and we can't find them anywhere. Boo hoo hoo. We all need to tidy up. I told them. We're never going to find Wally and Sid in this mess. Let's pick up all these toys. That'll help Mum too. You can put them in your pouches. That sounds like fun, they said, and soon they were hopping around, filling their pouches with toys. When Kim the kangaroo saw her children picking up their toys, she joined in. We soon got them all back into the toy box. Once all the other toys had been cleared away, Jenny and Jemima spotted their favourite toys sitting on a rock. Hooray! They shouted. We've found Wally and Sid. Try not to lose them again, Kim told them. We won't, they said. Small's given us a good idea. We'll keep them in our pouches for safekeeping. Kim the kangaroo was so pleased I'd got them to tidy up, she gave me a ride in her pouch. Hoo -hoo. 
So I got to jump like a kangaroo after all. Little Cook's at a rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Ho, ho, ho. So Jenny and Jemima found the perfect place to keep all their things safe. Way! Yes, Ben, in their pouches. That's what we need, somewhere to keep our things safe. But what can we cook for Kim the kangaroo? Hmm, well, nothing springs to mind. <laughs> no. Oh! I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Aha, the perfect thing. Kangaroo pouch. Brilliant. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onions over here. Oh, yes, got the onion. Yep. Potatoes. Oh, yes, here we go. Got the potatoes. Garlic. Oh, that's in here as well. Here we are. Got it. Baby sweet corn cobs. Oh, they'll be in the fridge. Here we go. Nice and yellow. Got those small. Spinach. Oh, yes, spinach here. That's what makes you strong. Got it. Lemon. That's over here. Got the lemon small. Coconut milk. Oh, that'll be in the cupboard. Coconut milk. Here we are. Got the coconut milk. Tomato puree. In here as well. Got that. Mild curry powder. Oh, very tasty. Got it small. Raisins. Here we go. I love raisins. Yep. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Here we go. Got that. And naan bread. Oh, very tasty. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. I've always wondered how naan bread is made, Ben. Well, why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm so excited! To make naan bread, first of all you need to make the dough. You need some milk. Then some baking powder. And eggs. Those black seeds will give the naan bread a lovely flavour. Now for some water. And then it has to be mixed together. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Whoopee! I nearly forgot. You also need flour to make dough. <laughs> it's all sticky and gooey. Now the dough can be made into naan bread. First, the dough is pressed into the right shape. ready to be cooked in a special clay oven. The naan bread is stuck to the side of the oven to cook. That's clever. It's very hot in there. And the naan bread cooks really quickly. That looks great. Yummy! See you later. Oh, I still can't find our things anywhere. Way! I'm back! I saw a chef making naan bread in a special oven. Sounds amazing, Small. Come on, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles As envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is Big Cook and he 
is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to kangaroo pouch? You do. There was onion, one, finely chopped. Potatoes. 200 grams, cubed. Garlic. One clove, crushed. Baby sweet corn cobs. 10, cut into quarters, lengthways. Spinach. Two handfuls. Lemon. The juice of one. Coconut milk. 200 millilitres. Tomato puree. One tablespoon. Mild curry powder. One teaspoon. Raisins. Four. Vegetable oil. One tablespoon. And naan bread. Two. Now Small and Ben are in a hurry to whip him up a special curry. Whoopee, let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a pan and I'm going to fry the onions, the potato and the garlic over a medium heat for about five minutes. And remember to give them a bit of a stir every now and again so that they don't stick. Now I'm going to add the curry powder. Give it a quick stir. Now if you don't like curry powder, you could always leave it out. There we go. And I'm going to turn the heat right down, pop the lid on, and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. I'm going to give it a stir every now and again, and if it gets a little too dry, just add a bit of water. What are you doing, Small? Oh, nothing to worry about, Ben. I'm just looking for something. When the mixture's cooked for 10 minutes, add the sweet corn, don't forget to leave eight pointy bits for later. They're to decorate the kangaroo later. In goes the sweet corn. And stir it in well. OK. Now pour in the lemon juice. And the tomato puree. There we are. Mix it in well. Oh, this is coming along nicely now. There we go. And now all we need to do is pour in the coconut milk. And add the spinach leaves. And stir it all in. And leave it to bubble on a low heat. Are you all right, Small? Yes, I'm fine, Ben. I'm still looking for my comb. Oh, Small, did you know you had a... Now, where did I put that comb? Oh, <laughs> right. While this is cooking and making the curry all coconutty, we can wrap the naan breads in a little foil parcel. Like this. There we go. And then we can pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on, open the door, and in they go. And that's another job for your grown-up helper to do. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. The naan bread's cooked and cool enough to handle and the yummy curry's ready too. I've put one of the naans onto a plate and I've cut the top off another one to make a little pouch shape. Now we can spoon on some of the yummy curry. 
onto the middle of the nan. And if I pop the other piece on top, hey presto, the curry's in a little pouch. <laughs> we can use the other piece of nan for dipping in the curry later. I'm a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've decorated the kangaroo using the saved pieces of baby sweet corn to make her ears, face, arms and tail. And now all we need to do is pop on some raisins as her eyes. Little nose. Hee <laughs> hee! And there we have it. Kangaroo pouch. What do you think, Small? That looks great, Ben. Kim will love it. We'll send it through then. Uh, but Small, don't you think you should comb your hair first? It's a terrible mess. I've been trying to, Ben, but I can't find my comb. <laughs> Isn't that it stuck to your back? Huh? <laughs> it was hiding. Ben, we really need to find somewhere to put all our things. Too true, Small. OK, then. Kangaroo pouch coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes, Small. And it looks like Kim enjoyed her kangaroo pouch. Look, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my kangaroo pouch. It was scrummy. Hooray! To say thank you, I thought you might like these pouches. Hopefully, they'll help you keep things safe so that you don't ever lose anything again. They'll fit around your waist, a bit like my pouch. Now you'll know where things are at all times. From Kim the Kangaroo. Ho ho! There you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. Brilliant! Let's try them on. Ho ho! I'm never going to lose anything again! Nor me! Hey, and look! A button for my trousers. Oh, yes! And I've got a pencil and some money for ice cream! Yippee! Ice cream! <laughs> and there's the ice cream van right now, right on time! See you soon! See you soon! Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe! Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for 